So welcome back to the channel. My name is Chris and I'm a Gorilla in the Wrist. Um, today we're doing an unboxing video. I haven't done one of those for a while, so looking forward to this. Um, and we're doing the Seagull 6075, a watch that I picked up off AliExpress for under 50 quid. A Seagull for less than 50 quid? Insert own jokes here. I'm hoping this isn't one of those ones that nicks your chips. Um, very quickly, wrist check today. So today I am wearing the Vario Empire True GMT. Um, that dial is sensational. Um, look forward to seeing a review of this one very, very soon. Um, before we get into the boxing, if I could just ask you to like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. If not, Tell me what you think you'd like to see in its place. Without any further ado, let's get into it. Um, so this is a proper unboxing. I opened the box only to make sure that there was, well, something in it, really. Um, you'll see, as we're going to see in a moment. There you go. Haven't even broken the cellophane yet. So, without any further ado, let's crack on. So what we have here is a fairly standard cardboard box. It's got a little pull-out thing, so, um, I mean, this is all nicely done. We have what must be the world's biggest instruction booklet. That's wrapped in cellophane as well which is good because it's going straight into the bin. And there we go. Start of the show. So let's just focus on the star, shall we? Um, so what we have is this Seagull 6075. It's not faring very well in my conservatory, I have to be honest. Um, but it's quite a stylish, I would say, mid-century style dress watch. Um, fairly simple. Um, nice silvery white dial. Um, we have thin triangular batons at the 3, the 6. Uh, sorry, the 12, the 3, the 6 and the 9. The 6 is slightly truncated to make space for the small second hands. It says... So you go automatic on the above the pinion, uh, and right at the bottom of the watch it says China made. Um, there's a minute track around the outside. Uh, it's all very high polish. It's very shiny. Oh no, that's not true. Hang on. Hold the phones. Um, so in terms of the finishing, we do have an interesting uh, combination of. Very shiny and brushed on the sides. Lugs are fairly standard lugs. Um, the strap. Now, I did this as part of my July, uh, July AliExpress picks. Um, and I said I expect the strap will be garbage. And I have to say, I may, ha I may owe Seagull an apology. So, really nicely branded there. Um, and it feels quite well padded. I was expecting one of these little thin weedy things, and it really isn't. Um, now, I'm not a big fan of folk rock, to be absolutely honest. Um, but actually, as folk rock goes, this isn't too bad. I'm slightly taken aback. Um, I am probably going to stick it on a couple of other straps. As I, My preference for these isn't folk rock. I am likely to go and stick it on something black and leathery, so to speak. Um but in terms of what you get for this, um, for your 50 quid, um, this is a 40 millimeter dial. Um, it has 20 millimeter lugs. Um, I'm gonna check the lug to lug. Um, I'll post that up. Um, but it is really thin um, at 10 millimeters. Um, and it houses the Seagull ST17 movement, which you can, well, which you will be able to see when I take the plastic off the watch. So let's do that, shall we? Uh, automatic self wind movement. Uh, I'm not sure if the display case back is sapphire crystal. Um, let's check, shall we? I'm going. In fact, I'm going to check both the main 
dial itself and the um, case back just to see. Um, it didn't say that the case back was, um, but it's always worth checking these things, isn't it? Yeah, that's definitely Sapphire Crystal. With my massive thumb in the way. Um, let's check the display case back and see if the display case back is as well. Nah. Right, once more. Nah. Um, to be fair, it, it didn't say that it was. Um, but hey, we have got Sapphire Crystal across the dial. So for those who are interested, this comes with a little hand tag. Um, this, the white dialed version, uh, model number is 819.12.6075. Um, I think the black dialed one is 819.22.6075. Um, but actually, I think I prefer the white dialed version, actually. Um, um, my take on it is it's, it's very simplistic. It's pretty minimal. Um, but it all seems to be done pretty well. Um, finishing looks okay. It's not groundbreaking, um, but it's okay. Um, the dial is very clean. Um, the indices look nice. Um, the winding movement of the crown. Don't know if you can hear that, but the, it's a very nice, firm, easy to grip crown. Let's just set the time. Yeah, nice smooth movement. As I say, the leather strap is better than I was expecting. Um, I'm still going to take it off them because I don't necessarily like them. Um, but I give them credit, they have branded it appropriately. And it is of a decent quality. I am starting to think it's slightly stiffer than I think it is. Uh, but no, I, I, I kind of like it. It's got that very simple, very elegant look. This is definitely a watch that you would wear with a shirt. Um, I'm going to stick it on a couple of other straps so that you can see the options. Um, there's no loom on that dial, um, so no loom shot to give you. We've talked about the dimensions. Um, so I think that's it, subject to a few strap shots. Um, I'm quite impressed. Um, it, it's, it's definitely a very simple, elegant, bit of a throwback watch. Um, but I like it. I like the simplicity of it. Um, and an automatic seagull for 50 quid. I'm starting to think that's a pretty good deal. Um, let me know what you think. Um, drop a comment in the comments box. Uh, please like and subscribe the video. Um, we will be doing the full review for this over the coming weeks. Um, and also in the coming weeks, you can expect to see the review of that little beauty. Um, other than that, have a fantastic weekend. Um, look forward to seeing you back very soon. Thank you, everybody. Take care. Bye-bye. There it is on my wrist. Um, I have to say, having put it on my wrist, I might have been too generous with the strap. It's as stiff as anything. Um, but the quality of it isn't bad at all. But let's see what it looks like on a different strap. So first up, we have it on this absolutely sumptuous um, Vario. Very smart... Um, Italian leather. Um, it really does elevate the look of this watch. Um, immediately it looks really special. It's amazing the difference a strap can make. I have a few other Vario ones. Let's try a few others. So next up is this beautiful, again, vintage leather strap from Vario. Um, no, I, I haven't been on a spending spree. Um, there were a number of the Vario straps that Ivan lent me with this um, Empire GMT, um, but they are astonishingly good straps um, and go really, really well with this watch. I mean, I think we've we're looking at a watch that has gone from looking like a fifty pound watch to looking like a two hundred pound watch. It's just amazing how well that works. The blue and the silver is just a really good contrast, and then we have this. I guess grey. Again, it's another vintage Italian leather strap from Vario. Beautiful stitching. Um, really decent buckle. 
uh, it just looks fantastic. You know, I take what I said back earlier. The, um, the strap that the seagull came on is just dull by comparison. I mean, look at that. That's just sensational. Um, so, yeah, if you buy one of these, first thing you need to do is throw away the strap and get yourself a nice Vario strap. And then finally a strap that isn't a Vario strap, um, but is this rather rather fetching dark brown suede effect um, with black stitching and high polished furnishings. Um, again, just really looks good. I'm very impressed with that. But again, I think... So I'm, I'm de definitely going to have to take back what I originally said about the strap that it came on throw it away. Um, either go and visit Ivan, who I'm sure will do you a good deal, um, buy one of those beautiful straps, or um, if you're on AliExpress, pick up something like this, something vintage and leathery, um, because it just elevates the look of the watch like you wouldn't believe. Um, sorry, this wasn't supposed to be a strap show. Um but that's the way it turned out. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Have a good weekend. Take care. Bye-bye.